So here's the finished product. That's a 500 new gasket kit. It was $29 with uh, with uh, shipping from Marine Sanitation Supply. Polished up all the screw heads and I bought some nylon nuts. Nylon. And that should last for 10 years, I think. So these are the four dowels that are going to support the guzzler pump and what I did was buy 12 inch, two 12 inch lengths, cut them to 6 inches and uh, faced them off on the lathe as you saw earlier and drilled the hole and right now I'm just tapping, tapping the ends of these two dowels. Thought some of you shoestringers might be interested to see what I did here. This is a Guzzler Pump 500. Uh, it was bust out of the bottom. You can see the fix there. Just glued it in. And um, made some repairs. All stainless. Okay, it's um, beginning of November <clears throat> and I'm down here just um, doing a few little bits and pieces. Uh, I have figured out, um, managed to find the wiring diagrams for the mast, all pretty basic, but that's the official uh, Irwin 
wiring diagram. And so I've just, uh, as part of the winterization, I fitted this temporary heater. It's gonna be on low, set to come on around about 38 degrees. I'm going to open the engine bay door, make sure there's no water in the system. And um, I think that's gonna be, make sure the stop clocks are shut off. And that'll be it for the winter here. That's all I need to do. So we're doing a little bit of varnishing around and a little bit of decorative stuff uh, in certain places. So just gonna carry on with that. And also, um, the plug to the, the mask plug um, just cleaned all the connections up there and uh, checked the wiring out to make sure that the spreader lights came on and the masthead light bow light running light and stern light working great. Tides way up as you can see the, the bar normally used to protect the marina is underwater. You can zoom up on that. You can see it over there but it's so high it's not underwater. Yeah, I'm not sure about this marina. I'm on a floating marina which is okay. Bow lines are on pylons, so they'll go slack or tight depending on, you know, the tide height. So that's not ideal. Uh, obviously, I have to watch those bow lines on a regular basis. The stern lines are fine. I have a couple of springs. One that goes to the bow just keeps it in the same position. We'll also keep it off. There's nothing touching, even though the wind's coming from behind me. We'll keep the boat off the uh, tenders. That's it. When the wind dies down, I'll be removing the sails and the bimini and the dodger. 